Congratulations, class of 2020. My name is Bruce Blonigan, and I'm Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. You'll probably notice my signature on your diploma, and that's because you are now a graduate of the College of Arts and Sciences. Our college is by far the largest on campus and spans the humanities, social sciences, and natural sciences, from philosophy to physics and classics to chemistry. What binds us all together besides our natural good looks and talent, is a liberal arts education. People often don't know what a liberal arts education means, but you should realize that it is now your superpower as you head out into the world. A liberal arts education is one that exposes a person to a broad education that hones your abilities in critical thinking, problem solving, and written and oral communication skills in multiple and diverse settings. Whether in a language course, or an earth sciences lab, you have been challenged to think, communicate, and problem solve. The settings and methods are different, but the same underlying skills are being developed. As you can imagine, these are exactly the types of skills that employers want. Employers can train you up quickly on the nuts and bolts of your new job in a matter of weeks or months, but they typically don't have the time and resources to teach you how to think, problem solve, and communicate. They want graduates who have developed and honed these deeper foundational, dare I say it, liberal arts skills over their years in college. And I'm not just saying this, it's backed up by numerous surveys of employers by folks like the National Association of Colleges and Employers, as well as other organizations. Employers want these skills from you, but the truth is that having these skills means you will have much greater flexibility in jobs and career paths over your lifetime. Most occupations drastically change or become obsolete within a decade. Someone with strong critical thinking, problem solving, and communication skills, however, will be able to flourish in nearly any professional setting. So these are your superpowers. In order for them to work for you, you need to understand them and be able to explain them to others, especially prospective employers. Think back to your most challenging writing assignments. Your most thought-provoking conversations where you and your classmates grappled with difficult issues, or that group project where personalities were difficult to navigate and manage. Those are the examples where your superpowers of critical thinking, problem solving, and communication shone through. Be ready to share those as examples of your abilities. Now, these are clearly uncertain times, and we understand that this has made the near term more difficult for many of you. Your superpowers will certainly help you, but this is also the time to reach out for help and support. One resource that I wanna mention is our UO Career Center. Their career services are free to you for the entire year after graduation. Use them and just keep remembering that when nothing is certain, everything is possible. Now more than ever is the time to think creatively, try different things and give yourself grace when there are bumps in the road. I am very sorry that I can't be delivering these comments to you in person. But despite these circumstances, I want you to know we are so incredibly proud to call you a duck. You are and will continue to be a very important part of our University of Oregon family. So be well, use your superpowers for good, not evil, and we will look forward to hearing about your future successes. Congratulations again, class of 2020. Greetings, class of 2020. This is Professor Wooten coming to you from my front garden. Hope you enjoy all the beautiful flowers that are surrounding me here. I wanted to offer my personal congratulations to all of you in your accomplishment in graduating this year. It sure won't be a, a year that's forgotten very easily by many of us all of the challenges that we faced in, in terms of uh, navigating these COVID times have challenged us in ways that we may not have uh, really wanted or expected, but we've kind of hopefully learned uh, how to cope and how to negotiate some of the things that have come our way. It's strange to be doing this kind of uh, communication, you know, in, in place of the in real life commencement ceremonies that we usually have, which I typically love 
you know, move-in days and graduation days are my favorite days at the University of Oregon, primarily because they're all about connecting with students and their families and being able to see uh, all of you in your kind of social context and see the people who have supported you and helped you get to where you are today. Uh, so we're doing this in a, in a strange kind of way these days as we do the social distancing. And uh, the social distancing has, you know, taken its toll on a lot of us and presented challenges for us that we weren't necessarily uh, prepared for. And I want to uh, let you know that uh, I appreciate all the things that you've been doing in order to try to make sure that you get out of the University of Oregon uh, with the appropriate kind of recognition and uh, accomplishments recognized that you uh, deserve. So anyway, I'm, I'm really delighted to just say congratulations to you and to wish you well in the adventures that uh, await you as you move from this bizarre and kind of crazy moment to COVID graduation to the next steps that come your way. There's a, a quote that I love uh, to think about, especially in times like these that are strange. It's like, when the going gets weird, the weird turn pro. And I know that many of you have uh, kind of thought about the possibility of doing things in different ways, different ways than you might have uh, when you started school at the University of Oregon, maybe even different ways than when you were finishing up uh, the winter term as we were moving into this kind of moment. Things are strange, things are weird, there's no question about it, but I hope one of the things that you carry away from your education in the International Studies program is that flexibility and change are important parts of our lives and helping other people who may be navigating these challenging moments or broader challenging kind of experiences in a, in a broader sense uh, are needing our help and needing our support. So I hope that you go forward uh, as a pro, a pro in the sense of somebody who is professional at dealing with complexity. It's one of the great things about our program, understanding intersections between important processes and the kind of real world experiences of people. Anyway, I wish you well, and I'm glad that you spent time with us, and I hope you'll stay in touch with us in the days ahead. And, uh, Bon voyage, happy journey, and uh, happy trails. All the best from me, Professor Wooten. All the best. Bye-bye. Greetings, International Studies graduates, professors, family, and friends. My name is Michelle McClardrum, and today I'm graduating with my MA. Many of the undergrads may know me as their academic advisor or a GE for one of their classes. I'm so glad to have the chance to address everyone here today, grads and undergrads, and I hope this message comes to you in good health and in good spirits. I want to offer my warmest congratulations to all those graduating today, and sincerest thanks to all those who have helped get us to where we are today, and who I know will continue to support us throughout our lives and careers. International Studies graduates, we should all be so proud of how far we've come and excited for where the road will take us next. We are experiencing so much collective change, uncertainty, and unrest, but I want to try to bring our attention to the beauty of this moment. I want us to be optimistic. Yes, this is a time of great uncertainty, but there's never been a more important time to ask questions and to reimagine and transform the world around us. If the International Studies Department has offered me anything, us anything, it's just that, the ability to question. But without figuring out what the question is, we cannot know what we need to know or what resources will better enable us to find answers and solutions. This is exactly what the International Studies Department has done. Enabled us not only to ask questions, but to ask the right questions. The professors and students who make up this department have equipped me with a toolkit to understand globalized ideologies, um, historical processes and theories and how these all shape the contemporary challenges we're facing today. And from this place of better understanding, I feel I can take action. I feel I can reimagine the world that I want to live in. And I continue to stay optimistic. I always come back to the same Angela Davis quote on optimism. I don't think we have any alternative other than remaining optimistic. Optimism is an absolute necessity, even if it's only optimism of the will. And as Gramsci said, pessimism of the intellect.
but I think we also need optimism of the intellect. The knowledge we've developed here at the UO is inseparable from our will to change. And change does not just happen. The work needs to be done, the ground needs to be prepared to sow new seeds. As a graduate student, I've gotten to do that work here by conducting research on organic farming and climate change in Rajasthan, where I met farmers who transformed my perspective for the better and helped me understand what I could do to bring about positive change in the world. And I've done that work here with you all, whether it be in class, at the coffee shop, on a hike, or burning the midnight oil at the night library. It is with your support, your perspectives, and your experience and knowledge that I've been able to ask these questions. I've been able to do the work and I've been able to stay optimistic. I'm excited to continue this, and I'm excited to watch you do the same. Thank you, and good luck, everyone. Very happy to be here today to congratulate everyone who's graduating in international studies at this time. My name is Anita Weiss. I'm a professor of international studies, and it's been my pleasure to get to know you throughout these years that you've been at the U of O. So again, I'd like to heartily congratulate everybody receiving a BA in International Studies, an MA in International Studies, but also all of your family and friends who are celebrating this important milestone in your life. Indeed, we live in tenuous, quite stressful times right now on many different levels, not just COVID-19, but so many other things that are happening in the world. I hope that we in International Studies have been able to prepare you to make a positive difference in the world in the future. In all of our courses, we've encouraged you to question what you read, to question assumptions, to never just buy into something because you're told to believe in it. So as you move forward in your own future, whatever path you may take, please remember to always question what you've been told. And I hope we've provided you with the tools that you're going to be able to actually do solid research and find out fact from fiction, and then you can act on that. It was the words of the great Albert Einstein, one of my personal heroes, who said, the world will not be destroyed by those who do evil, but by those who watch them without doing anything. So it's my greatest hope that you don't just become bystanders, to what is going to unfold in the future, but you become positive actors, being able to bring about effective change in whatever path you take, but just remember to make a positive difference in the world, and you'll have fulfilled all of our greatest hopes as your faculty. Thank you, congratulations, and good luck in the future. Congratulations, graduating seniors. This is Senior Instructor 2, Galen Barton. It's been a joy to help you through the past four to five years in class and as your advisor. I leave you with a timeless song that couldn't be more timely. Come gather round.
Hello, graduates. Uh, my name is Dr. Joe Weaver. I am the Director of Undergraduate Studies for International Studies, and so I have spoken with quite a few of you um, in person or via email as you've progressed through your degrees. Um, and I'm so excited to be able to congratulate you today and also to get to wear my fancy academic regalia, which we only get to do once a year. Um, I just wanted to take a moment to as I said, congratulate you on this amazing accomplishment, especially during this strange time. And I hope that the COVID pandemic has really impressed upon you the importance and the value of the kinds of things that we teach in this department, interdisciplinary approaches to understanding global issues and how we're all connected, ultimately, um, whether it's economically or through health or through all of our sort of mutual quest for the best life we can live. Um, I really believe that our department has given you an education that will set you up to make positive change in the world, and I'm excited to see what you do after graduation. If you're anything like me, you sometimes might have trouble uh, sort of commemorating major events, especially if you're having to do so from home. And since we aren't having a live graduation ceremony this year, I want to really encourage you to take some time to celebrate this accomplishment with your family or your friends or those who are close to you. Um, you'll only graduate from college once. And so uh, please take a moment to just congratulate yourself for this wonderful accomplishment. I hope you all have fantastic summers. Please do keep in touch with me or any of your other faculty in the department. We'd love to hear what you're doing after graduation um, and stay healthy and safe. Greetings. Class of 2020, I'm Kathy Carpenter. I'm Department Head of International Studies, and I just want to share with you how thrilled I am to be able to share this moment with you and your loved ones, despite these really odd circumstances in which we're finding ourselves. I love commencement. I don't get to see enough of you because of my administrative responsibilities, and commencement is a really important time to connect with you and celebrate your accomplishments as you launch out into the world. So congratulations, class of 2020. I'm not exaggerating when I say that you, our students, are the very best thing about our job and what really makes our job worthwhile. When I go to meetings across campus with colleagues, they say, international studies, we love your students. Send us more of your students. We love having them in our classes. And that's even more true today. So under these really odd circumstances that we've struggled with over this spring, I know it's been disappointing. I know it's been anxiety ridden. I know it's been really, really hard. But you did it. And that is amazing. You are rock stars. From now on, you'll be known as the class of 2020. And when you apply for jobs, when you apply to graduate school, when you meet prospective partners, people are all going to say, you graduated from the University of Oregon in 2020? Wow, if you did that, you can do anything. You have demonstrated your commitment to education, your commitment to the future, your resilience, your adaptability, your ingenuity in problem solving, You've demonstrated that you're really good with technology, usually better than your professors, and people are going to be very, very impressed. It will serve you well as you move out into the future. So congratulations, class of 2020. Go out there and save the world. Be successful, be happy, and stay safe. Alex Camacho. Ian Campbell. Nino Jibwadze. Jeffrey Hall. Dana Hansberger. Lena Leklek. Michelle Nick Farium. Alyssa Sperry. 
Mohammed Al Astal, Janet Amador, Hakim Baginyan, Sarah Barr, Gabby Bellardi. Dana Binder, India Brine, Mila Butler, Kelsey Carlson, Janet Cervantes. Noel Charbonnier, Chloe Christensen, Jesse Clark, Vincent Collins, Celeste Concha. Kyle Crook, Carlos Cuevas Rios, Bryn Cunningham, Josue Dambe, Alex Dana. Miko Dean, Victoria Delon, Hermela Demise, Winna Doe, Claire Doherty. Alondra Duran, Jake Elwell, Harley Emery, Aaron Feebeck, Kate Feldkamp. Sessa Ferdin, Manuel Fletes Orochi, Sabrina Fregoso, Bridget Garland, Eloise Gayette. Brianna Green, Kaylee Grove, Lane Henry, Brian Hernandez Leva, Donna Homayun. Hayden Hubner, Emily Hunt, Callie Hudson, Paulina Jafarzade, Zach Jayusi. Kate Johnson, Thomas Johnson, Nikos Jordan, George Kasiska, Abby Keep.
Talon Kennedy. Lauren Kill. Isa Clock. Ellie Kniebel. Natsuka Koyama. Rachel Lamb. Matteo Lambert Fortul. Dylan Land. Janine Lay. McKenna Lee. Natalie Lehrbach. Yu Ping Liao. Lindsay Livingston. Kyrie Lucas. Annabelle McDonald. Maya Mackey. Malaya Mader. Howard Mai. Kennedy McEntee. Bryce McQueeby. Aaron Montes. Patricio Munoz Castillo del Villar. Caitlin Murphy. William O'Brien. Catherine Owens. Paige Parks. Caitlin Parsons. Hannah Peterson. Maddie Peterson. Young Pham. Liana Phillips. Sienna Polk. Joanna Pawn. Nick Pozzarelli. Sophia Prince. Jie Chin. Natalie Ranieri. Tessa Rausch. Allie Reed. Francis Rosales. Nick Rosenberger. Olin Ruberg. Breezy Rucker. Ashley Ruggles. Taito Sakurai. Daisy Sandoval. Sophia Santana. Arden Saravis. Ashley Schutt. Caitlin Scott. 
Samantha Sidline, Sophie Silva, Monica Silverman, Sabrina Smith. Alana Saint Peters, Emma Stevenson, Shi Su, Rachel Sugg, Joanna Sun. Remy Tanita, Matthew Terry, Emma Thormodson, Juliet Tesur, Madeline Tong. Manami Updegrove, Stephanie Vandenberg, Lauren Walker, Angelique Wallman, Allison Watanabe. Taylor Wayland, Justin Weiner, Elizabeth Willey, Dylan Williams, Madison Yablonski. Amos Young, Mitchell Yep, Min Sik Yun, Jia Ying Zhang, 